Avocados are a healthy part of your diet, but which kitchen gadgets are worth getting? The first utensil we're going to look at is this one. I start by removing it from the packaging, and you can see we've got this really cool looking contraption. The top bit here actually squeezes together to adjust to different sized avocados. And at the bottom here we've got this stainless steel blade which we can use for cutting the fruit. So take an avocado and use the blade to cut it neatly around the centre, like this. Once you've opened it up, you can use the utensil to remove the stone. There's these sharp teeth in the drawer of the gadget. They grip the stone really firmly, and with a little twist, we can pull it out of the fruit. Next, we can use the hoop at the top to cut in between the fruit and the skin. You can adjust it to different sized avocados, and it's a nice smooth action, which feels like it's cut it really well. So let's take a look. I'm turning it out onto this chopping board, and we've got a perfectly peeled half avocado. If you want to, before you scoop it out, you can use the blade to make some slices in the avocado, like this. I'm also turning it 90 degrees and cutting it this way too to make some cubes. Then I used the hoop to scoop it out of the skin, and I'm turning it out onto this plate. And again, it's worked really well, I'm impressed. If we take a look at the empty skin, you can see it's removed nearly all of the fruit and left very little behind. The next gadget we're going to look at is this one. The hoop at the top isn't adjustable and it can only be used for slicing. There is a blade at the front for cutting the avocado in half, and it's got this clever section here for removing the stones. To use it, we push it down on top of the stone and give it a little twist. And you can see it sticks into the gadget. Then just push it out with your finger through the hole on the other side. So let's see how well it cuts. It works in a similar way to the last one, where we kind of scoop it in between the skin and the fruit. It's a little bit tricky, but when you turn it out, you've got these amazing pre-cut pieces of avocado. And if we look at the leftover skin, it has done a really good job of cleaning it out. There's only a little left behind. Next I'm going to show you how to make this really cool avocado rose. Remove half an avocado from the skin, and place it on a chopping board. Then carefully slice it really nice and thinly from one end all the way to the other. Don't worry if it's a little bit messy. Next we need to splay it out into a long, thin, staggered line. You can clean up any messy bits. Then, starting from the one end, roll it up like this. Try to keep it all relatively tight, and work your way down the line all the way to the other end. Then open it up a bit, and arrange the petals. And there's our avocado rose. Stay tuned because we'll be using this later in a recipe. The next kitchen gadget we're going to use is this dicing utensil. It works with half an avocado, so once you've chopped one through and removed the stone, take your gadget and push it down through the fruit. It slices through easily, and we need to push it down as far as it'll go. To separate it from the skin, give it a little twist, then we should be able to lift the utensil away from the skin, and the fruit stays inside the cage. Pretty cool, huh? I'm just tapping it out onto this chopping board, and you can see it's actually worked really well. It's cut the pieces neatly, and I'm trying it again. It cuts through the fruit perfectly, and it's easy to remove it from the utensil. And if we have a look to see what's left on the skin, you can see it's really not done a bad job. You can also use a cooling rack to cut an avocado. Just sit it on top of a bowl, then take your avocado, place it upside down on top of the cooling rack, and push down on it to squeeze it through. Because this cooling rack is made up of squares, it's cutting the fruit into nice little cubes. I'm doing both halves of the avocado, then give the rack a little tap to remove any pieces that are stuck on. And there we are, our little cubes of avocado. And looking at the skin this time, we've pretty much completely removed all of the fruit. It does work well. Next I'm going to show you a really cool life hack to speed up the ripening process of an avocado which isn't quite soft yet. Take some tin foil and wrap the avocado up in it. Then put it in an oven dish, and place it into an oven at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 90 degrees Celsius. Warming the avocado up slightly releases a gas which surrounds it and speeds up the ripening process. After about 10 minutes, take it out and leave it to cool down on the cooling rack. Once it's cool, remove the foil. Then you can carefully cut it in half, remove the stone, and you should find it's now soft, ripe and perfect for eating. Pretty cool, huh? Next I'm going to show you these avocado storage pods. And we'll start with this one. It's basically just a container with a removable top and shaped a bit like an avocado. 
And the idea is, if you're only eating half an avocado and saving the rest for later, you can place the other half inside here, flat side down, and put on the lid. Having it flat side down should stop the air getting to it, so it'll keep it fresh and stop it turning brown. Unfortunately, if you want to take it to work or something, you definitely have to keep it the right way up, because a smaller avocado like this will just roll around if it's tipped on its side or anything. But let's take a look at this one. To open it up, you slide the two halves to unclip them, and you've got the base plate similar to the other one, but the top section of this one is actually a flexible membrane. It's really stretchy, and the idea is, once we've placed the avocado on the bottom, we fit the top section, and the flexible membrane keeps the avocado in contact with the base the whole time. It holds it firm. It can't roll around, even if it's turned on its side or upside down. It's a really clever idea. I put both these halves in the fridge for 24 hours, then took them out to see how they look. So looking at the first one, it's actually looking pretty good. There's a little bit of moisture on the fruit, and it has browned ever so slightly near the bottom. And if we take a look at the other half, once I'd opened it up, you can see it's actually pretty much exactly the same. There is a little bit of moisture on the fruit, and a tiny bit of browning near the bottom. I do wonder whether the fruit wasn't cut perfectly flat, so there was a little bit of air getting to it. But it's done really well, and I didn't even use any lemon juice. If you wanted to, you could just remove this little bit of browning, then it's ready to eat. Next I'm going to try out this extra large avocado to see how well the cases hold it. Trying it with the first case, and it's actually too big, I wouldn't even be able to fit on the lid. That's a shame. It does just fit on the base of the other one, and I can attach the top to hold it all firmly in place. The next gadget we're going to look at is this avocado masher. I removed it from the packaging. You can see it's got the masher on the bottom and this hoop at the top. This is obviously for removing the fruit from the skin, so let's give it a go. It cuts through and removes easily, and I can scoop any extra out. Then I'm turning it around to try out the masher. It does a good enough job at mashing, the avocado is pretty soft, but the tool does feel a little bit flimsy. I'm scooping out the other half too, and I'm going to be using this for a recipe. Once I'd finished mashing, I cleaned it off and gave it a wash. Then, under inspection, it had actually become a bit bent. You can see it's pretty soft metal, and it does bend easily. I think you'd have to mash extremely softly not to bend it. Now, here's a masher which isn't necessarily designed for avocados, but I really do like it. It's like a conical spring, and when you push down on it, it mashes whatever's underneath. And I'm going to try it out with a large avocado, so I'm using this gadget to remove the stone and scoop out the fruit and I'm turning it out onto a chopping board so we can see how the masher works. Just push down nice and firmly, and it squeezes it all up through the coil. Once you've mashed it all up, you can tap it on its side to remove it all, and squeeze it all through again. We're going to make guacamole, so I removed the other half into a bowl, and mashed that up too. Then I added the stuff from the chopping board. The masher's got this built-in, really handy scraper. And I'm also adding the mashed avocado that we made before. Then dice up half a red onion, and add it in. I'm chopping up two tomatoes, and when these are cut nice and finely, add them in too. Chop a lime in half, then juice it, and pour that in. Then finally add some salt, chilli flakes, and a little bit of pepper. Mix it all together, and there's our delicious homemade guacamole. And we're going to serve it with this avocado rose we made earlier. I'm using the rose as a centerpiece, and spooning the guacamole all the way around it. Then make a ring of nachos around the edge. And we've got this amazing guacamole and nacho platter. Perfect for a party. And the avocado rose makes a really decorative centerpiece. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.